Is it even a reading vlog if you don't start out lighting a candle and making tea or coffee? I don't think so. For real though, I wish I um, could make my videos more aesthetic, but I just don't know. How to have an aesthetic, it's just, I don't know how to do it. So yeah, welcome to my new reading vlog, guys. Um, as many of you guys know, I kinda just do reading vlogs whenever I'm actually reading. I have actually been reading more than usual, um, and I'm pretty proud of myself for it. My reading goal for this year is 50 books. I've only read 15, and we're like halfway through the year. That's it's okay. I'm trying not to like be hard on myself because I'm literally busy all the time so I really shouldn't like push myself. But yeah, I've read two books this month so far which I'm pretty proud of and I'm about to finish another book. So I am currently reading The Damned by Renee Audier. This is the second book in like the Beautiful series by her. It's like a vampire series and I am loving it still. Like I don't know if I love it as much as the first book but I still really love it and I'm almost done with it so I want to finish this today. I just really love all the characters. Like seriously there's not really one character that like I hate. I mean Michael's kind of eh but he's still like a good person you know what I mean? So so I mean if you guys know I like to do like art and a lot of like crafts and things with my hands um, during my free time. And one of my favorite booktubers, Mayana from Mayana Reads, she, you know, recommended to me to like listen to more audiobooks while I'm doing things so I could read more books. And like, I totally agree with her. Like I want to listen to more audiobooks. I've had a really hard time focusing on audiobooks because sometimes my brain can't focus on multiple things at the same time, especially if I'm doing something like art because I'm focusing so much on making the art piece look good that I can't listen to anything around me other than like music. So I think I'm going to try to do that. I'm not too sure what audiobook I even want to pick up because I don't pay for any audiobook subscriptions currently. I do have some books on Audible still from like my past credits, but they're mainly books I've already read. So like I have the Crescent City book by Sarah J Mass and the audiobook is 27 hours. So I could listen to that. I also have Gerald's Game by Stephen King and I heard the audiobook for that's really good. So I may listen to that actually actually because I'm kind of in a horror book mood or thriller. I think that's more of a thriller. I have Cinder by Marissa Meyer and then I have Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. So I think I may pick one of those to listen to while I do art because I'm really in the mood today to really like paint. In my new reading vlogs, I do talk a lot, but that's just because it's like a life reading vlog. So I want to talk about my life. I want to talk about the things that I'm reading and what I'm doing. I'm going to try to incorporate more daily vlogging here on my reading channel. So it will be me doing everyday stuff and then it's going to incorporate reading. So if you guys like my daily vlogs, you will still enjoy these, but I will incorporate me talking about books in the vlogs just because reading is such a big part of my life. So I'm not going to like cut off talking about books. And even if you don't like reading, you know, I feel like it's still interesting to listen to what books are about and stuff like that. So I don't feel like I'm going to talk about books so much where you might get like absolutely bored if you're not a reader. So I just want to let you know, I'm going to start incorporating more like daily things I do, like cooking, because I do cook quite a lot, you know, things with my animals, editing, art, stuff like that. I want to incorporate things that I do in my everyday life. Like I know this weekend I'm going to be going to Home Depot and getting some flowers to decorate my patio. So I'll take you with me to do things like that. So I hope that makes sense. I'm going to try to incorporate more of my daily life on here because I love my reading channel. Um, I actually love my reading channel more than all of my channels. It's just very relaxing to me. I don't get that many views so it's not like overwhelming in the comments and stuff like that. But I do want to grow my reading channel because it's something I'm very passionate about. So I want to try to upload more on this channel, um, even if I'm not reading a lot. And some people tend to think that if you're like a specific reading channel that you should only talk about books and you shouldn't talk about your life or things that you like. And I think that's wrong. I feel like it's cool to know the booktuber that you're watching. You know what I mean? Like my favorite booktubers show so many different things of their life. And that's so interesting to me because you learn about them as a person, but you also learn about what they like to read. And I really like that insight on a lot of people. There's a lot of gatekeeping in the book to book talk, book Twitter community, like so much gatekeeping. It's actually unreal. I want to stay away from that toxicity and I'm just going to do whatever the hell I want. So yeah, I'm going to continue reading this, but I think I'm in the mood to paint. So I think I'm going to listen to an audiobook. I kind of want to start Gerald's Game by Stephen King.
Hey guys, I just got back from walking slash jogging at the park um, as you guys saw and I am now back home and I'm all sweaty and gross as you can see but I wanted to give you an update on my reading. So the whole time I was painting, I was listening to Gerald's Game by Stephen King. I have almost six hours left of the audiobook and I don't even know where to look to see how many hours I've listened to so far. I'm not even 50% into the book it seems. But so far it's okay. I don't really care about the story that much. I mean what's happening like sucks but I don't really care. So if you don't know what the story is about, it's basically like this married couple that goes like to their like cabin that they have and they're like tied up about to do the dirty and she's handcuffed to the bed and her husband has a heart attack and dies while she's handcuffed to the bed. So there's no way that she can get free because he's literally dead. And there's also a dog, stray dog that comes in and starts eating her husband, eating her husband while she's there handcuffed to the bed. So basically so far, literally half the book has her just trying to figure out how she's gonna survive, which is just kind of boring to me. Um, so right now the book is like a two to three star. Like it's interesting enough to keep going, but I just don't find the book like super interesting. It's obviously really gross the way like things are described and stuff like that, but it's definitely like not my favorite Stephen King book for sure. The audio, audio person, I don't even know the word, narrator is good. So that's fine. Um, but I think I'll be able to finish the book like either today or tomorrow because I listened to it on two times speed. Yeah, that's, that's my update so far. I think I've listened to about two to three hours of the audio book and I have six left. Oh, and I, went to my post office and I got like a PR package for like protein bars. Never gotten like food PR before, which is pretty cool. And it was for my reading channel as well. The package said read with Alyssa. So it's like these protein bars. I ate one of them already. I ate the chocolate chip cookie one and it was super good. So I'm gonna continue to try all of these. There's like birthday cake, brownie batter, peanut butter, dark chocolate. And apparently it just has protein fiber and sugar and it is plant-based protein bars, which is always great. So I'm gonna keep trying these. Just wanted to show that I got them. It's from the brand Raw Rev. I'll put the website down below. Um, because I actually enjoyed this and I don't typically enjoy protein bars too much, but I actually really liked the first one I ate. So yeah, I will keep you guys updated. Um, if anything else happens, I probably won't update you guys again until tomorrow when I go to Home Depot and get some flowers for my porch. I just got back from Home Depot and I got six flowers, things of flowers. So I wanted to show you what I got and I'm gonna go ahead and decorate my patio. I've been wanting flowers since the beginning of summer and I just kept forgetting to go get some and it's really humid and like 90 degrees out here. So my camera keeps fogging. Okay, so I got these right here. These are begonias and they are heart sun um, and the sun only hits my patio about four to six hours in the afternoon um, so I figured it would be fine for these to be hanging up above my patio. These are the ones that just drew me to them the most and I think they're the prettiest so that's why I got those. Then for my little like potted plants I got two of these New Guinea and Patience. I don't know if that's how you say it. These are full sun so if they're out in the sun all day you know it won't kill them. So I got this like red color and this like pinkish white that I thought was really pretty and I'm gonna put those together in one and then I got these they drew my eye first these are vin vincas I don't know uh, they're full sun as well and I got them in this light pink and this purple and I'm gonna put these together in one because they're the same plant like oh my god absolutely stunning
guys. It's a couple days later. I don't remember the last time I updated you guys. Uh, Dobby's deciding to be clingy at right now. What, what are you doing? She is acting like a crackhead right now. So I've done a little bit more reading. I've read like, I think 30 to 40 more pages of The Damned by Renee Audier. And I've listened to maybe like 30 more minutes of the audiobook from Gerald's game. And that's about it. I have till the end of the week to read my Patreon buddy read book and I have not even started that yet. So I'm probably going to start that soon. But the next update I wanted to give you guys is a little book haul. Um, a couple nights ago, my sister asked if we could go to Barnes & Noble because she was looking for the banana fish manga. So I took her and I was not planning on buying any books, but I bought like eight books. Not my proudest moment, but so I also got one of their cool little like 99 cent reusable bags because I don't know I really liked it and I go to Barnes & Noble so much I feel like I should have a reusable bag anyway so I'm not using so much plastic and then I also have a thrift book haul I also have a book outlet haul coming because I had some leftover rewards on there um I didn't have to pay for anything on those and those are coming in the mail too so that might be in this vlog but it might be in another vlog I'm not sure but I figured I'd show you what I got from thrift books and from Barnes & Noble and I ha also have some cool stuff in some Amazon boxes that I wanted to show you as well all right so first I'll show you all of the books that I got from Barnes and Noble. So like I said, this was not my proudest moment. Um, I normally don't just binge buy books, especially brand new books like this. I always buy from like thrift stores and stuff, but I bought a manga series and I bought it because it normally sells out pretty fast and I just wanted to buy a new manga series straight up. So I bought the first seven volumes of the Blue Flag manga series and I've heard just like amazing things about this series and the spines are just absolutely stunning. They will look beautiful on my manga shelf that I have. So I believe the first seven or there's like eight volumes that are currently out. It is a short series. So I figure since like the first seven volumes were there in stock, I would buy them and be that person that buys out the whole series, but I just needed it. I've heard amazing things about it. Look at this. So I believe this is a like a romance, which is awesome. And as many of you guys know, I am obsessed with slice of life and romance animes and manga. That's like my thing. Um, I just am here for it. I love it. And I've just heard great things about it. So this is the cover of volume one. And we have two and three four and five. And then I think six is my favorite just because of the dark colors. And then we have seven. So yeah, I bought those. Uh, they were $13 each, but the only reason I bought them from Barnes & Noble is because they were actually the same price on Amazon and they actually weren't even on in stock on Amazon. I normally buy them from Amazon because they're like $4 cheaper, but yeah, they weren't even on stock on Amazon. So I figured I would just go ahead and do it. I don't really need to explain myself, but I just kind of need to justify it for myself because I normally don't buy that much at one time. Um, I originally went to Barnes & Noble to find this book and I've gone to Barnes & Noble three times trying to find this manga and I have not been able to find it, but I finally found it this time. This is I Want to Eat Your Pancreas and this is just one. It's the complete collection for it. Here's the cover. So this is also a bittersweet romance. I'll read the back of it because it has a fairly short says a bittersweet romance in this deeply moving first person story an introverted high school boy finds his classmate's diary and learns her biggest secret sakura is dying from pancreatic disease and now he is the only person outside her family who knows the truth the last thing the boy wants is to be her friend but sakura's cheerful demeanor and her shared secret draw them together in this heart trending tale of friendship and mortality and i just know i'm gonna cry like Oh, it's going to be so good and I'm so excited. I want to read it like now, but yeah, so that's what I bought at Barnes & Noble the other day. I spent like $120 or something like that, but I don't regret it, honestly. <laughs> so now we have cheap books. I think I spent $15 on all of these books in this package because Thrift Books is amazing. I will have a link for Thrift Books down below if you guys are interested. It's literally just cheap books that are basically the price of like where you would get them at a thrift store. Yeah, I got four books and like I said, I spent like $15 or something like that. So first, um, one of you guys told me, so I went to a like half price bookstore months and months ago and I got this ghost girl book and one of you guys told me in the comment section that it was actually like the third book or something like that. So I needed to go find the other parts and that's exactly what I did on thrift books. They had book one and two. I believe that's what these are. I'm not hundred percent sure, but now I have the whole series. Yeah, it's like an older book series. I know it's more of like a teen story, but I just think I'll really like it. And honestly, I'm just so obsessed with what the book looks like. The covers of these books are so stunning. They have like the clear, 
as you can see. Oh, looks like we have some beautiful writing here. It says quiz number 19,000. Um, don't know what that's for, but yeah. It's just, I love the way these books look and you can just tell that they were used a lot. This one has a really, really creaky spine, which is completely fine with me. But like, look at this, like it opens up to that. Like the art style is just beautiful and it looks like it'll be fast reads. So I wanted to pick those up. I don't know how much I got them for. I believe it was like $3 each or something like that. Next, I got Normal People by Sally Rooney. I keep seeing all of my favorite booktubers talking about this book, Books with Chloe. Posted a vlog where she was bawling her eyes out while reading this. So I figured I would pick it up and try it myself because every book that Books with Chloe recommends, I normally like as well. So this was a used copy of Normal People. I got it for $4. It looks like it used to be a book of the month version of the book. I do like the red cover better, but I'm not gonna say no to like a three or four dollar hardcover. And lastly, I got this book series. So this is House of Dark Shadows by Robert Laparulo. This is one of the first book series I ever read when I was growing up to be a preteen. It's one of the books that I read that really just made me love to read. So I don't know if it's going to read the same as when it did when I was a kid, but it's basically about a, like a haunted house that this kid lives in. It's a preteen book, basically. I read it when I was a child, but I've always thought about this book. Growing up, I always was like, I want to read it again. It is a whole series. So if I enjoy reading this again, I will go back and buy the series. But my dad loves this book and I love this book as well. It's part of the Dreamhouse King series. And yeah, I, oh my God, I loved this book as a kid. Like I don't even remember anything about it, but I remember being really creeped out by it when I was a kid. So hopefully it gives me the same vibes. So yeah, that was my beautiful, not even little haul <laughs> for the past couple days. I normally don't even buy books this much, but in my reading vlogs, it makes it seem like I buy a lot more books than I do. <laughs> so now I'm gonna show you what I bought in my Amazon packages because it does relate to books. Please ignore all the boxes behind me. I have yet to break them all down because I've been too lazy. So yeah, I have three Amazon packages here. I think only two of them are related to books but first I got a set of mild liners all of the old highlighters that I had for annotating my books finally dried out after annotating for I think like two years now my highlighters died on me so I figured I would get some of the fancy highlighters that I see people using I know a lot of people really like these they're kind of like um half side highlighter and half side kind of like a pin it comes in many different colors way more colors than I had before which I really like so next we have a little organizing unit so I'm completely taking this idea from my honor reads I think I've already mentioned her in this vlog as well but on twitter she posted that she puts all of her annotating stuff in like a little organizer and she kind of just carries it around with her when she annotates and i really liked that idea because i really hate annotating with my little like pouch that i have it's just it's not organized and i have to like dig through the pouch to find what i want so i figured that i would only use the pouch if i'm out reading in public and then i'll use this little organizer thing when i'm just at home i couldn't find a super small one on amazon so this one's pretty big but i think it'll work good for what i want to use it for so here's what it looks like this little drawer comes out like this I could put like sticky notes in here and I could put my annotation tabs I'll put my new highlighters and my pins and this will basically basically be my little like book annotating thing I feel like this coming out will be kind of annoying so I don't know if I'll use that or not but yeah I really liked the idea that she does so I decided to copy her so I don't take credit for that idea <laughs> so yeah I'm going to organize that real fast. I'm gonna put my books on my bookshelf and then for the rest of the night, I'm going to be reading because I need to be reading right now. This is my current buddy read book for this month of July. It's Yoke by Mary H.K. Choi. Um, it's about two sisters. I believe one gets cancer and the sisters like don't really like each other, but they have to like come together. I love the way this book is because the sisters are like holding hands and I think that's really beautiful. I don't know how I'm going to like it. A lot of people like rave about Mary H.K. Choi and I've read one of her books before and I didn't really like it at all. So I'm hoping this one changes my mind. Maybe it just wasn't the book for me last time. I read like Emergency Contact, I believe. So I'm hoping this book hits good. You know, it's about sisters and I do have a sister I'm really close to, so it might hit me in a different way. I know a lot of people really love this book. So I definitely want to start reading this like either tonight or tomorrow because I need it read by this Saturday and it's already Tuesday. <laughs> I always wait till like the last day to read my Patreon books and I hate that I do it to myself, but I keep doing it. If you guys would like to join future buddy reads where you get to read with a bunch of people and be in a discord. I do have my Patreon down below. Okay, a couple hours later and I just finished The Damned by Renee Audier, as you can see here. Honestly, 
for most of the book, it was like a three and a half or three star read. But when it started getting towards the end, a lot of stuff started happening, a lot of sad stuff. So I bumped the score up to a four star. I rated the first book a five star just because I felt like there was a lot of action in the first book. I really liked the characters. I loved everything about the first book. And I didn't feel like a lot was happening in this book until the end. So that's why I'm giving this a four star, but it was still really good. I'm not gonna say what happens at the end, but it's really sad and I can't wait to get the next book. Um, it's not out yet, but I haven't waited for a new release in a while when I'm reading like a current series so this is pretty exciting I'm gonna wait for the new book to come out and definitely read that immediately when it comes out because I'm loving this series so far I love the writing style of Renee Audier it's so easy to read so yeah I finished another book I also finished making my little annotation thing here as you can see so in the drawer I have my sticky notes in these two apartments right here I have my annotation tabs and then I have my highlighters, my pins, and then I have my pouch in this back section right here. And I literally love it so much. Like I just keep it sitting on my table. It is so easy to annotate now. Instead of digging through my little pouch to find everything, I'm literally just like, oh, this is a sad moment. Let me pull my little blue highlighter and put it back real fast. And it makes life so much easier. I love it so much. So thank you, Mayana, for giving me that idea. <laughs> so now that I'm done with The Damned, I am going to pick up Yolk by Mary H.K. Choi. I'm about to take a bath for the night and start this book. I probably won't read much because I'm getting pretty tired. It's like one in the morning. So yeah, I'll update you guys soon, probably tomorrow. <laughs> Hey guys, it is the next night. I'm about to go to sleep. I'm not gonna do more any more reading for the night, but I did spend most of the morning reading Yolk by Mary H.K. Choi. Um, can we just talk about how stunning this is? Like you can't even see it because <laughs> all the smudge, but there is like one of the sisters right there and oh, it's just so pretty. But I am decently through the book. I stopped at page 143, so I'm on chapter 21. I'm not gonna talk about like the details of how I feel about this book since it is my Patreon buddy read book. All of my thoughts and everything are on Patreon. But so far it's about a two and a half to three star read. It is getting better. The first 100 pages were kind of like a one star read, not gonna lie, but it is getting better. So I have hope for it. <laughs> so yeah, that's just my thoughts on it so far. Um, I do like Mary H.K. Choi's writing. It's very easy to read. That's one thing I do like about Mary H.K. K. Choi. I just, for some reasons, I just can't connect with her books as much as other people can, which is fine. But I'm hoping I start liking this more and more throughout the book because I still have over half of it left. And I don't really know how it's going to go. I do have a couple annotations and they're all like funny moments um, because the humor in this is pretty good. And there's also a Gilmore Girls reference. I actually just finished watching Gilmore Girls for the first time like a month ago and I loved it. And there's just like really funny comments that the main character makes. And I do relate to the main character character a lot. Um, her personality because we kind of have the same personality um, and that's very rare to for me to kind of relate to someone in a book which I like so yeah that's my thoughts on it so far. I'll probably continue to read it tomorrow if I have time. Tomorrow I have to film like four videos and edit them so probably won't have time to read until tomorrow night but <laughs> yeah I need to finish this like soon so I probably should read tonight but it's midnight and honestly the only thing I feel like doing right now is watching YouTube videos. I literally don't feel like doing anything else so I'm not going to. So yeah I hope you guys are having a good day whenever you're watching this and I'll update you guys again when I'm reading again. This reading vlog will probably end at the end of my week and then I'll start another one. Twyla, every time I film, she just sits here and she stares at me. When I first got her, she would bite me if I was talking to nobody because I think she was just confused and she like didn't know who I was talking to. But now, I mean, she still might bite me, honestly, but now she just kind of stares at me. She's like, who are you talking to, mom? My guard cat. <laughs> Inspector is down here staring at me. She will bite me. Told you. Hey guys, it is the next day and I'm not really talking about books because I haven't read anymore, but I'm gonna show you a little Halloween decor haul in my little reading vlog here because it's not enough stuff to make a whole video on it. But I wasn't planning on buying any of the Halloween Bath and Body Works stuff this year, just mainly because it is, just mainly because it is way out of my price range. I don't like spending $40 on a candle. That's just me. <laughs> 
I'm sorry if you can hear my dogs barking. Uh, they're in their crates right now because I have to film a video. My mom went to Bath and Body Works and they just put out their Halloween stuff yesterday and my mom found all of their Halloween stuff and she surprised me with a bunch of Halloween stuff that I was not expecting. So I wanted to show you what she got me. I did post pictures on my Patreon whenever this video comes out. They've been on Patreon for a while, but I'm literally just so shook right now. So first we have these two hand sanitizer holders. I need to get some hand sanitizer to put in them because I'm out of my current hand sanitizer. <laughs> and this one makes a noise. Oh my god, it's so cute. So she got me this one and a candy corn. And she said that there were also like a pumpkin and stuff like that. The ladies at the store literally brought out a box for her because they didn't put it on the floor yet because they knew resellers were buying them right now. So they literally let my mom just like buy all of the new stuff. Next, she got me two wall plugins. This is the one that I've been wanting. If I bought any of them, it would definitely be this one because it looks like my dog. It looks like Doobie. Like it's a little chihuahua in a, like a Dracula outfit. So this is just a nightlight slash scent holder. And then this one right here projects a bat onto my wall. It's absolutely incredible. It lights up purple, the little projections right here, and it's also a scent holder. So you could use it as a scent holder or a nightlight or both, which is what I'm going to be doing. I'm gonna put it in my hallway. It's literally the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I missed out on one of the haunted houses last year, and I just really, really wanted another haunted house this year, but I just knew I didn't wanna pay for it. And the fact that she found this is incredible. The plants are like growing through the window. As you can see, it has eyeballs in it. Oh my God, stunning. And she bought a bunch of of the scents for me to put in the wall plug-in. She bought me seven, but I just felt guilty taking all seven of them because like I already feel guilty that she spent all this money on me anyway. So I just took four of them. I got the Wicked Apple, Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow, Pumpkin Pecan Waffle, and Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. So I got those four. Those will last me quite a while. And then she got me the Wicked Apple Candle. I've never actually gotten this candle before and it smells so good. Like, oh my God, absolutely incredible. I hate lighting these candles because I literally light them all day long and then they're just gone and I feel so bad that they're gone. So I don't know, I'm really excited to light this though. I love the way their new decor looks for Halloween this year on the outside, it's so beautiful. Then she got me this candle holder and I wasn't actually planning on getting any of the candle holders just because they are like 35 to $40, which is a lot for me. <laughs> this one's just so cute. Like it has sparkly purple wings, little fangs, and it holds a three wick candle as you can see, and it just looks so cute in there like that. Like, don't you guys think that looks amazing? And then lastly, the lady brought out this for her. And I've been seeing this everywhere. It's been selling out and Bath and Body Works like crazy. Resellers are buying them and selling them for like double the price online. It's absolutely ridiculous. And I wasn't ever planning on buying it just because like personally, I just don't, I didn't need it. Um, obviously I'm gonna take it if it's a gift, it's stunning, but it is a, hand and it's a candle holder. It holds the like two wick candles. So I need to buy some of the two wick candles because I uh, personally right now only have the big candles. So I'll purchase one of the little ones put on here, but it's a hand. I think I'm gonna paint the fingernails black just cause I think it'll look a little bit better, but it has this beautiful skull ring and this part's made out of like a velvet material and it's gold. Literally absolutely stunning, beautiful, love it. So that's my little haul. Well, not even little, it's a pretty big haul. My favorite thing is definitely the scent warmers. Oh my God. Everything's my favorite, but just it's all so beautiful and I'm like so thankful I was not expecting any of this at all I don't even know where I'm gonna put all this candle stuff because I feel like I just keep buying candle stuff But it's so worth it. <laughs> so I wanted to show you guys the little haul just for fun I normally do this on my main channel I'm actually about to film a Halloween costume sweater haul right now I'm about to film it for my main channel and I'm also about to film a witch box opening I'm also about to film a couple videos for my pet channel and I'm gonna record another video for here on my reading channel So I'm doing a lot of filming today hence why I have makeup on. I'm gonna put a wig on because my hair is absolutely insane at this point. But I just wanted to show you guys because I am so happy. So. Hey guys, it is Saturday the 31st. So it's the last day of July. Tomorrow is August. I am so excited. I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here, but I do have a couple things to show you before I end the video. I have like a book haul slash, I think I got a couple Amazon gifts. So I figured I would just open them on this video and show you. I have four big boxes here. And I also have this little Bath and Body Works thing because my 
my mom. I already showed you all the things that she got me before. And then she got me two more candles. She got me the pumpkin pecan waffle, which is one of my favorites. And then she also got me the marshmallow fireside one. And these are the two wick candles. These are the ones that'll fit, or one wick, sorry, one wick candles. And these are the ones that'll fit in the little candle holder that's a hand. So that's why she got two of them because I think they were like two for $10. And then I have a book in this package here. So this is my buddy read book for the month of August. If you guys would like to join my Patreon down below. It's A Dowry of Blood by S.T. Gibson. It is a adult horror book and it is about Dracula's bride. Um, and I'm pretty excited about it. It's about a couple of his brides and I've heard like the most amazing things about the story. Apparently the writing is really beautiful and it's just like really good. And the cover of this is like stunning. So I'm super excited for this. I'm usually pretty excited for all of my Patreon reads, but I think this is one of the ones I'm most excited for just cause I've heard such amazing things about it. And like thriller and horror books of what I've really been getting into lately. I got this off of Amazon. And then next I have the book outlet order that I was talking about the other day. It came in the mail. So I have a couple books that I got free from my rewards. I do have a link for book outlet down below. If you guys use it, you get a discount off of your order. Okay, so I have four books in here to show you guys that I'm pretty excited about. So this first one is called The Loneliest Girl in the Universe by Lauren James. I've never heard of this book before, but I really liked the cover and it had decent ratings on Goodreads, I believe. This is more of a sci-fi because it is about two astronauts. And I don't normally read sci-fi, but it actually sounded pretty good. Decided I'd go ahead and pick it up considering it was basically free for me. Then I have The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary. I have had this on my Amazon wish list actually for a couple years now. God, the words on this page are tiny, but it it's apparently about these two people, a male and a female that have to share an apartment together, but they've never met. So they basically share like a flat share together and it is a romance. And I just know it's probably gonna be something that I'm really gonna like, because I really like when two strangers have to like come together and do something kind of uncomfortable because the romance is always just really great. And hopefully it's a slow burn because I love slow burn romances. So I'm pretty excited for that one. Next we have A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. I see people talk about this book all the time. It's been popular for a while now and I don't, I I honestly don't even really know what it's about. It's a murder mystery, it seems. So yeah, it's a murder mystery. I love murder mysteries. They're some of my favorite books to read and I'm excited for that one, hardcover. And lastly, we got Clown in a Cornfield by Adam Cesar. And this is a horror book and I really like this. It reminds me of like Stephen King books and like the typical like slasher films is what the title reminds me of. And it's just about a clown that like kills people in this one town. So here is my haul. All four of these books were free and I think this book was like $10. So pretty good haul for me. And the book outlet always comes with a bookmark as well. And then I have no idea what's in these two Amazon packages. I'm assuming they're gifts considering I haven't ordered anything from Amazon. So let's see. Oh my gosh, they are gifts. Okay, let me see. There's two things in here. Let me see who they're from first. Oh my gosh, they're from Hillary again. So Hillary is someone who has sent me, if you watched my, on my main channel, my Halloween decor hunting plus haul video, she sent me a candle and a wax warmer and now she sent me more things. Um, I've literally already messaged her on Instagram and told her to stop buying me so many things things because I feel bad, but she keeps buying me like the most like beautiful things. I think I know what's inside of this. I think this is a mug and this has been on my wish list for a while and I just keep forgetting to buy it for myself. This is so, this is so pretty. Okay, so here's the outside. It's just like a plain black mug, right? And then you look on the inside and it has all these stars and the moon. It's just so beautiful. Like, especially for decor, it just looks like a little cauldron. It is so stunning. I keep seeing this mug like all the time and I just have not bought it yet. Thank you so much, Hillary. And then she also sent me the coffin wall hangers. I wanted to buy these to hang them in my living room so I could hang my keys in my purse from it because whenever I get home, I just kind of throw my keys places and I lose them sometimes. So these are little coffin wall hangers so I can hang my keys from them. I'm so excited. I have been like, I've added these to my cart probably like five times and I just don't buy them because I hate spending money on just random stuff sometimes. So I'm so excited for that. Thank you so much, Hillary. Like I said, please stop sending me things. I feel bad that you're spending all this money on me, but I really do appreciate it. And I don't know if the stuff in here is from Hillary too or what, so let's see. Hillary 
sent me this Nightmare Before Christmas backpack that was on my Amazon wish list. I, please stop spending so much money on me. Like, I appreciate it so much, but it's just a little, like, overwhelming why you would spend this much money on me. Oh my god, thank you so much. Like, I have wanted this bag for so long now. It is so beautiful. Oh my god. So this is a lounge fly backpack. I love Loungefly backpacks. I have a couple of them. I have a Totoro one and a Harry Potter one. And I think I have another one, but I don't remember which one it is. Um, but this is my new one. I'm going to be using this for the next while now because I really like their backpacks because they're really small. So if you need to go out, you can kind of just chuck them on your back and they're not like super heavy and you actually can fit quite a few things in here. So I really like Loungefly backpacks and they can also fit a book as well, which I think is really nice. So once again, thank you so much, Hillary, for sending me these things. I, I don't know what I did to deserve this, but I, I appreciate it so much. I'm really bad at expressing gratitude because I, I don't know how to act when people buy me things, but I hope you can see that I'm very appreciative of everything that you're buying me. And yeah, so that was my little haul for today. And before I end this vlog, I just wanted to say that I did finish Yolk by Mary H.K. Choi last night, and my live stream is today, so I finished it just in time. I rated this 2.5 out of five stars. I'm not going to go into detail of why I rated it that way because I did put it on Patreon, but I just don't think Mary H.K. Choi's books are for me and that's fine. I won't be reading any more of her books because the two that I've read so far I just have not liked at all, haven't enjoyed, don't connect with. Her stories are very like character driven and I'm not really the type of person who's really into like character driven books. I really like when there's like a really good plot and action happening. So that's uh, probably the reason why I don't like her books that much. So yeah, that was my little ranking for her book and now I'm just going to probably start a manga but I will pick up my next reading vlog from here so stay tuned for that I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to check out all of my social medias down below and my patreon down below and also my other channels are down below as well but I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time bye guys <laughs>